Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. So throughout this entire course, you'll find that any function we talk about, except for maybe polar functions, these transformations throughout this video will remain. Transformations can split into two groups, additive and multiplicative. Let's start with the additive transformations. g of x equals f of x plus k is known as a vertical translation, and it will move the graph either up or down. g of x equals f of x plus k is known as a horizontal translation that moves the graph of f by negative k units either left or right. So if you see like x minus 5 in the parentheses, you know the graph goes 5 units to the right because it's always the opposite. Now for the multiplicative transformations. g of x equals a f of x when a is not 0 is a vertical dilation of the f graph. The higher the number gets, the more closed the graph will get. The lower the number, the more open it gets. If a is negative, it will result in a reflection of the entire graph over the x-axis. g of x equals f of xb, when b doesn't equal 0, is a horizontal dilation of f by a factor of 1 over b. If b is negative, it will result in a reflection over the y-axis. Now, of course, all of these transformations are not just exclusively used by themselves. Many of them are combined and used in one equation. This would, of course, have an impact on the domain and range as well. You should practice noticing transformations both in equations and on graphs, and for that, I put some help in the description. For now, here are some problems. Pause now. Now here are the work and answers. I'll see you in the next one.